So this is Connect Tank. It's a pretty cool game I've been playing recently. It's an indie title from Natsume. Uh, basically, it's like a tank battling simulator similar to Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slam, which I showed off on the channel recently. And I thought it was worth taking a look at. Uh, the company did send me this to play around with, and so far I've been having some fun with it. So I'll, I'll be showing you guys um, a little bit about this game, Connect Tank. I thought it was kind of cool. So let's see. Let's go. Yeah, let's just go. Jump right into it. So it looks like there's only one gig we have available right now. Bonnie Ray Quinn. All right. I like the animations a lot. And look who that is, huh? Interesting. Doesn't he look familiar? So um, the company actually did this. They actually made a tank in the game. You can choose different tanks. Right? I only have two unlocked right now. There's nuts and bolts, and then there's the sack chief tank. And they made this custom made. They designed this completely themselves. It's pretty cool. Uh, he's got the uh, the Dragon Quest kind of RPG sort of getup going on here with the crown and the sword and the shield. And his ammo that he uses is essentially there. It's all RPG inspired. There's swords and lances and stuff, which I thought was really cool and very thoughtful of them to make a character like this for the game. And uh, I really appreciate it. So we're gonna be using, of course, the sack chief tank because. Why not, right? All right. Look at that grin. He looks like he's about to kick some ass. And we'll take this gig now. So you can choose your character, right? Um, and it's also multiplayer, this game. There's co-op multiplayer. So if somebody else has a game, they could each join. Like, somebody could join the other three slots. Uh, I like playing as Vin. I like his expression. He just looks like he doesn't give a crap about anything. All right, here's Bonnie Ray Quinn and her buddy BRQ. She built them from spare scraps out of tanks. I like the animation a lot, like for the characters. Like, look at the little guy in the corner, like hopping up and down like that. That's pr pretty charming, I think. And it's, it, just overall, I like the, the aesthetic quality of the game a lot. Let's see. And BRQ doesn't exactly talk. Okay. And the animations, yeah, the animations are just great. So, you like leave the garage and you have to work for a random, like, you're like a mercenary essentially. You're you're working for different people and different storylines. And this is the one of the first people that you work for. So I can go up or down. I think I'll go up. Yeah, why not go up there first? So, because I want to see what's up here. Look who this guy is. Uh, brave capitalist and tireless consumer. Everyone's favorite business magnate. The fat cat, because there's like a fat cat in the game who's like literally a fat cat, and he's also a, like a business tycoon fat cat. So you can buy ammo, upgrade ammo. Let's buy ammo. The falcon canister. Can I even afford? Oh, I have 45 coins, so... Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's use that. Alright, and... How do I go back? I'm trying to go back. Oh, you hit K. So K goes back. Um, space. The controls are a little funny. Like, it uses WASD and space bars to select and K is to go. Alright, we're going against slow mo. I have no weaknesses, you saw. It's actually got no weaknesses. Alright, hidden enemies uh, attack. So, I'm gonna really, really quick show you this if I can remember how. Okay, so J is to pick up. Um, and use K to rotate. And you can th chuck things around, so like that. And you have like a conveyor belt. It's like one of those factory building games, right? And it's, it, it's, it seems a little bit complicated at first, but it's pretty simple. This thing generates a bunch of stuff and you can build one of the three ammo, one of the three types of ammo using a combination of the other two types. So, let's see. I need to somehow get the conveyor belt working. How do I do that, though? Alright. I'll drop that here, and... I mean, oh, crap. Alright. I'll throw another red there, uh, there then. That's weird. How am I supposed to... Uh, and there's like a monster? I didn't know that they could, they could launch monsters at us. It's 
interesting. All right, so it pops out of there. Is essentially what the deal is. I don't want to lose this. Oh my god. And you can even throw, throw things at the monsters, it looks like. Alright. Just drop that there. I need a straight a straight one. Um, or actually, I don't. I could just use that one right there. Alright, we're not going to mess around anymore. So I'll, I'll drop that there. And now I can start throwing some of that stuff. So I'm going to make a yellow uh, ammo and by doing that with the yellow thing. So we do that. And I'm going to... You, you can change the direction of the... Uh, of the cannon by doing this. Oh, crap. So what beats what beats red? Uh, blue beats red, which means if I want blue ammo, I got to... Do that and... Do that. And then that'll that'll actually beat the, blue am uh, the red ammo up top. So my sword is going to defeat that anvil hopefully yeah i did so um blue and red now you got to keep an eye on this red uh, purple and red come on come on ah crap all right i think we'll be able to beat him now Purple's no good. We want yellow and red. Alright, red and yellow again to get a red sword. Just rapid fire these out. Um, I can only do garbage right now, so I'm going to just put both of the purples in there. Purple usually gives you like a garbage uh, piece. Okay, there we go. This is a tough one. So we got blue and red to make the the blue ammo. All right, and now we've got a blue and yellow. Oh, that's a, like a super a super piece. The enemy's weak, so I'm actually gonna be able to win this one probably. Get more blue. It's all about uh, keeping an eye on the ammo types that you have and uh, combining and creating the proper ammo. Alright, yellow and red we want. So I'm probably going to win this one. Let's go. And I'm going to send this one upwards instead. So hopefully that'll work. Alright, purple, purple. It looks like the enemy is preparing his tank. He's got that slothy looking tank. He's not gonna win against my badass macho tank. Look at that shit. Alright. And I'm the winner, of course. Look at look at that granny. He just kicked some ass. Sack Chief Tank. Sack Chief Tank for the win. Alright. How much money do I get for that? I get wow, I got 42 cents. Nice. A slow-mo body. So I got the the sloth body. Oh wow. Okay, I kind of want that uh, winged sapphire blade. All right, next next challenge. Oh, we got this baseball cat guy, Casey and the Bat. I, I got no weaknesses as always. You can throw belts and other holes and other items in your tank. Can you now? Did not know. That. All right, this is a little more complicated. Um, let's see now. Crap, I'm trying to like figure it out. It's okay. All I know is that I'm going to put that there, put that there, no, put that there, and I need a straight one. Is there no straight one, huh? There's none. So put that there, that there. It's a little more complicated than I would have wanted, but it'll work. You can even throw the conveyor belt pieces and that'll work just fine too. So. 
Okay, that's a yellow yellow ammo. Let's see, blue and red. Alright. Okay, it went past that one, so now I've got purple, purple. You gotta, know, you gotta be able to throw this at, at, at will, and I'm gonna do this like, to the bottom just to get rid of that blue thing. Now I'm gonna put this one up again. Oh, red. I'll just let it hit me. Oh, crap. I'm actually on low HP. This is actually not good. Um, Blue and yellow. Blue and red. Looks like he also is in trouble right now. Okay, he's weak also. So we're both kind of weak. Alright, yellow, yellow. Hit that. I might actually win this one. It looked it looked kind of tough at first, but I think I should be able to take this. All right, blue and yellow. It's very it's very actually a fun game. I, I it's a lot better than I expected. You can see that it's, this is a lot like Rocket Slime. Even the slime, even the tanks look like something straight out of the uh, slime games. Honestly, it's a really well made spiritual successor, and I think this will be really fun. Um, in multiplayer, because if you remember, I did a review for Rocket Slime, and I did mention that somebody should make a game like this with multiplayer, and it would be really good. And it is pretty good. What if I just throw this in there? Nah, that, that doesn't work. Okay. Alright, I win. Let's go. Let's go. Once again, the winner is me. Okay. And 78 cents again. And you get like different parts, and you can customize your tank. It's called like it's it's all about customizing your tank. So let's see. Uh, I could probably use some more yellow. Actually, this is probably better. The the speed boost. So you can collect ammo as you go along. Uh, let's see. Navigate. So I could either find the blue tank or the red tank. Right, let's go, let's let's go to up top. Have not tried this game with, um, I've not tried this game with controller yet. No weaknesses. It's funny that they gave my tank no weaknesses. Alright, so he's a red tank, which means I gotta hit him with blue ammo, which means I gotta get as much blue ammo out there as possible. Which means... Oh my god. See, they're making it tricky on me. It's like, uh, it's like a... Because it's not gonna be easy, uh, considering the way that, uh, they did it. Yeah, I'm going to have to go this way, it looks like. Crap. Oh, wait. I don't need to do that, actually, because there are two straight pieces. And you can even rotate while you're doing that. Red and yellow. Red. I actually got hit really hard by this guy. That's not good. Um. Alright, 
speeding up, speeding up pr pr process. Yeah, I've only got junk pieces right now. This is a problem. Crap, let's go, let's go. Oh, I can repair my tank, actually. Okay, I didn't know I could do that. So, I can actually go here and repair the individual parts of the tank and get my health back up. Don't know how useful that'll be, but... Every time I slip and, and and launch a thing like that, it always gives me problems. All right, so let's try repairing this part of the tank. So if you had like multiple people helping you out, you could probably you could probably have one person like repair you while you do other stuff. So like I'll be repairing this part of the tank, get my health back. Okay, blue, blue, what does that mean? There's like a weapon wheel also that you can probably see up there. Uh, This will probably be the finishing blow, most likely. Let's go. So blue blue ammo is really effective against the red tanks. And some red raider wheels, it looks like. Actually, wait, flies faster. Yeah, sure, more damage sounds good. Let's go for that. Mia, how's that last tune-up treating you? Okay, so I can get all my health back. You actually have to carry over your health between matches, it looks like. Hmm. Mystery upgrade, what does that do? I kind of want the tune-up. Let's just go for the tune-up. I don't know what the mystery up upgrade would have done, but I gotta not play it too safe. All right, no weaknesses. Extra ammo in the air turns into bonus coins. Okay, I gotta think about this now. I mean, kind of easy. I I still haven't figured out how to like split the how to split the ammo like that. Like how to because there's multiple ways for it to get in. I don't know how to do that yet. All right, blue and red. Let's just keep doing the bottom part. It takes a lot of a lot of speed to do this. Let's see, red and yellow, I suppose. All right, let's let's do this up top. Let's go, let's go. Hopefully, it's quick enough. There we go. Boom, got him. Keyboard controls are a little bit finicky, but. If you could probably map a controller, it'll probably be better. Alright. Yeah, it's very it's very rocket slime-ish. Alright, let's go. Where's blue? Give me blue. I interestingly get a lot of good parts. It's a funny thing. And 
that was a fail. Oh, what's this? I forgot about this kind of part. Uh, so this will give me actually... This is actually an interesting one. Um, watch this. This will give me a boost, so... Or not. So it, it brings that along with it. Is an interesting thing. Oh wow. Okay, so let's see. Blue should work next. I'll usually I usually want to get rid of the purples by when I have no uh, no good pieces on the field. Uh, this is probably gonna hurt him. And maybe hopefully I get a red piece. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to destroy this dude. Let's see. We're only get one more piece. Alright, he's done. Let's go. Win. As always. And that's the end of the level, it looks like. So I got the scrap to Bonnie. Cool. And went to my little pink coin purse. Alright, the internet is finally working again. That's Olive. Go sh go tank me, go fund me, go tank me. Alright, let's check out this go tank me. Alright, so now I can mod my tank. Terra scrap, damage monsters, debuff machine. Um, I don't know, let's use that, I guess. I don't really know what it does, but... Alright, let's see. Mod. Loose belts. Oh, be it increases the speed by 6. That's probably a good idea. Alright, I think for now it's pretty good. We'll just save our money. These are interesting characters right here. Alright, Phineas Fat Cat. Alright, of course we're going to choose... Of course we're going to choose Sashi. Wait, uh, what about ammo? Let's, let's go back and check the ammo out. Yeah, I want better ammo. What the heck? Chrono Clock, Sally's Furious Snake. You know, let, let's get some of these things going. Yeah. All right, the chrono clock. Let's do this one. All right, that looks like a good mod. Choose this one. It's weird that I can only get all right, I'll just take the take the job. I'll do a couple more, and then I think that'll be good enough. All right, this is Phineas. Okay.
All right, Pandalicious. Figured I'd show you guys the boss of this sort of level. Is it? There's a new uh, theme song sort of going on here too. So let's see. How are we gonna beat this guy? I think we can take him. So let's go. Uh, I'll put this right here. No, that's not right. That's wrong. You gotta make sure that the conveyor belts are flung properly. And I want to, of course, use this. Okay. And one more of these. There we go. They're th it's throwing bananas at me, or <laughs> what are those? Like, it's... It I'm gonna launch these up because this might actually kind of be kind of tough, actually, because the other ones were pretty easy. Throw a lot of ammo at me. All right. They're, luckily, they're not very strong, but. There's cherries he's throwing. And the ammo just going all over the place because there's two different dispensers here, which is the problem. Oh, the dragon. Alright, I'll let them attack me and then I'm gonna unleash the dragon afterwards. I hope the dragon doesn't get hurt, because that'll be bad. Come on, he can he can avoid them, I think. Oh shit. Come on, come on. No! Damn. Alright, so he's he's looking pretty uh weakened right now. Alright, get the yellow. Blue and blue, let's go. There's another blue. Pretty fast. Low HP. Okay, okay. I think I should repair my, my tank. That would probably be a good idea. Come on, come on. Okay, okay, nope. Well, I completely lost that one. I wonder what happens if you lose. Get to choose our own occupations. So, I managed to get right to the end before the other tank destroyed me. And I lost my money. You actually lose your money. Interesting. And it sends you right back to the main menu. All right, so that was Connect Tank. It's pretty fun. I, it's, there's a little bit of a, uh, a difficulty curve. It's, it seems pretty easy at first, but then you fight really tough tanks later on. Uh, and it's it's a relatively good game. I actually enjoyed it, especially for like a, you know a little indie game. And of course, how can you say no to that, right? Uh, I really appreciate them taking the time to make this uh, to make a Sack Chief tank. I thought that was really cool, and I really really enjoyed seeing this. Uh, they completely designed this themselves. It looked great, honestly. So yeah, I do recommend checking this out. If you have friends, I think this will be fun like to play with friends. 
I feel this would be more fun with uh, in a multiplayer setting than with the single player because single player it's uh, it's fun, but I think this would this would really shine with multiplayer. I'd like to try that out sometime if anybody I know owns the game. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little look at Connect Tank. It's a cool game, and I'll see you guys next time.